All right, my dear, come on over here. And what question do you have to ask? Well, I'm working on a project that I'm opening my own business. And the business is going to require a lot of my time and mental thinking and everything. But there's another opportunity that just came up into my life that I want to be a part of. The city has a homesteading program where they give people old buildings. And you can be an owner of your own cooperative apartment. You only pay like $75 a month, but you have to devote 12 hours a week to the project. And I wanted to be a part of it, and I've discussed it several times with people, and they said, well, how could you be a part of it? You'd be spreading yourself too thin if you, you have to put your physical work in your business, and then you also have to be in the homesteading pro program. And I don't know what to do about that, because I really want to be a part of it. It's a positive thing that's happening in the city now. In the program, you're allowed to uh, do your own apartment the way you want. You know, as long as the group agrees that everybody can, once the city has cleared the building out, we have cleared the building out, then you yourself can go in with the contractors and design your own apartment. I want to be a part of it, and I want to be in the business, but I don't know what to do because financially, I have to put money for the business. Financially, I have to use money for... Uh, the homesteading project, and I really want to be a part of that also. I don't know what to do about it. All right. I want it, though. I, it's clear in my mind. Okay. All right. All right. Now, let's, let's clarify this. Sometimes one thing includes the other thing as well. It seems to me that what you really want, you want your own apartment and so on and so forth. You better ask yourself, is this, is it better for me to put all of my mental energies into my business? Or can I put my mental energies into my business and into this other homesteading project? And if you really want to be in your business, you should consider, well, maybe I ought to put all of my energies here because if you put all of your energies there and you're successful at it, then, you know, you can always get you another place. You're going to have to make that decision, but you're going to have to ask yourself that. No, no, so I'm going to go over this again, but one thing I will not do, I will not make a decision for you. I, I, what I'm doing, I'm just trying to lay it out so that you can see it. If your business is going to support you and the material things that you want, maybe you need to do your business if that will distract your mental and financial energies. Because if you get your business going successfully, that's not the only opportunity that you get to get a place of your own. Just consider that and see what you think about it. On the other hand, maybe you can swing both, but divide the situation up and look at it and see the best way to handle it. And don't have your mind divided wondering about it. Make a decision about it and whatever your decision is, go to it and don't worry about it anymore. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, young fella. All right, all right. Come on down a little closer. Um, I have four questions here to ask you. Well, start with the first one. Um, in the lecture, you have said an lim um, individual... Oh, hold um, on a second. The last lady that came up. Now, we're talking about giving yourself what you want. In your mind, give yourself a successful business. Not only that, in your mind, give yourself the beautiful kind of place that you want to live in. Give it to yourself in your mind. Just give it to yourself in your mind. See and feel yourself with your successful business. See and feel yourself with the beautiful home that you want. And your mind will guide you as to exactly how to approach it so that you don't tear yourself to pieces going this way and that way at the same time. Because if you feel that you are dividing your energies, that's not going to work out well. But give yourself what you want in your mind. Reverend Ike says this, if you want something first, get it in your mind. You see, that's another thing. Before you let the behind go to jumping around like a chicken with his head cut off, get it in your mind. That's the first place that you, you give yourself something. That's the first place that you do something. Same for you, Holly. If you want a successful marriage, get it in your mind. If you want a successful career, get it in your mind. But you see, you had some other things to work out. You said, I don't want this before I get that. And once you said, well, I don't want that before I'm 25. And then you looked around and saw some of these other folks raising hell and said, well, I don't want that either. 
<laughs> so you're going to have to very clearly tell your mind what you want and be very clear about it. But give it to yourself in your mind. Because again, this is how, this is how you give yourself what you get. By what? Giving it to yourself in your mind. Get it in your mind. All right, young fellow, what were you saying? Um, you spoke on the, the fact of limitation. Um, how can uh, one get above the, the power or the level of limitation? If, if the individual is, he or she owns limitation, how can they get above it and to grasp that um, things that they need? All right, you get beyond your limitations by first of all recognizing that I am my own limitation. That this limitation is mine. Since it's mine, I control it. And if I can permit, I have the power to permit myself to have a dollar and by the same token, I can permit myself to have two dollars. And by the same token, since this is my power of limitation, I can permit myself to have three dollars. So I want to be redundant. You can break your own limitations simply by recognizing that it is your limitation. And when you face your, you see, that's another thing. When you face your limitations and they seem to be out there, you've got, don't be fooled. There is nothing out there. There is absolutely nothing out there. What did I say? There is absolutely nothing out there. And to tell you the truth, there is nobody out there either. I meet no one but me. That's interesting. Now, now this, we're getting a bit mystic. That's quite mystic. There is nothing out there. Nothing. Nobody. Everything and everybody you meet is you. <laughs> in the guise of other people and other things. Mm -hmm. Isn't that absolutely mind-blowing? And so when you meet your limitation, appearing as it is out there, you take your power over it by realizing, this is my own limitation. Say that. This is my own limitation. When you meet your obstacles, <laughs> you stop and say, wait a minute, this is my obstacle, so get out of my way. <laughs> say that, this is my own obstacle, so get out of my way. You see, that's how you have power over it, by realizing it's yours. See, this devil in my, this is my devil. Okay, get out of the way. <laughs> Behold, I give you power. You shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free from your own limitation. And as I say, that's the way you get power over it, by knowing that it's your limitation.